I have not, as, as a religious leader, been able to, you know, my beliefs and my tradition has not been able to be fully expressed through marriage bans. A local church opens its doors to same-sex couples and will offer them free weddings in the near future. Meanwhile, Ector County is now providing marriage licenses for same-sex couples. On Friday, when the Supreme Court made their ruling, the office chose to wait for further information as suggested by Attorney General Ken Paxton. Today, the Ector County clerk has decided to follow suit and issue same-sex marriage licenses. The licenses are not yet gender-specific, but new ones have been ordered. One church in Midland is choosing to marry same-sex couples and offer their facilities this summer all free of charge. The minister of the Unitarian Universalist Church says it's the right thing to do and it's what they stand behind, the practice of love. CBS 7's Lauren Lamon sat down with him this afternoon to find out why this step was so important for him. Tranquility and most importantly, love is what is taught at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Midland. It's who you are and we respect wherever you come from. For years, Reverend Thomas Schmidt has led a mixed congregation at his church who identify as Christians, Buddhists, pagans, and even atheists. Many different religious traditions who, who come here every Sunday and get along just fine and love each, learn to love each other and and even though we not don't agree on all matters we agree in love that's why the supreme court ruling of the right for same-sex couples to marry in every state was a big one for reverend schmidt my religious freedom has been uh, restrained by these uh, marriage bans and now i feel it's with the supreme court decision that my my religious beliefs can be expressed uh, by by offering uh, legal marriages to, to same-sex couples. He never thought that it would happen this soon, but it's always been Reverend Schmidt's plan to open up his sanctuary to same-sex marriages. And now that he can, he says he's gonna do it for free. I'm glad that I can do it and that there is a place for people to come here in the Permian Basin that, uh, that want to get married. And they can do it for free, a venue, reception, and minister all included. With your eye on Midland, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News. Lauren, thanks. The Veterans Administration also says they will begin extending benefits to legally married same-sex couples nationwide. Previously, couples were denied benefits like disability compensation and death pensions. Although still working on the final guidance, the VA says they will temporarily hold pending benefit applications that may have been denied under previous guidelines.